do you think GMOs are natural? If we do a Google image search of GMOs, the pictures we get all look pretty unnatural. But a long time before scientists ever figured out how to genetically modify plants in labs, microbes were cutting and pasting DNA into plants in nature. We actually see GMOs in nature all the time. This condition, called crown gall, is actually caused by microbes that live in the soil. How do the microbes actually do this? They contain a specialized package of DNA that inserts itself into the plant DNA and it then tells the plant cells to grow and to make nutrients. It's a very clever system. The microbe essentially sets up house and then installs an all-you-can-eat buffet. In the 1980s, it occurred to scientists that we might be able to recruit these microbes to study the function of genes. For example, if the genes for cell growth and nutrients are replaced with an interesting gene, like a gene for resistance to a disease, then the microbes carrying this gene can be used to insert the gene into a plant. This process is really simple. The microbes are actually just mixed in a solution with sugar and a little bit of soap and minerals that help the microbe to get through the tough plant cell walls. And then the whole plant is dipped in the solution so that the flowers get coated with the microbes. Several generations later, the microbe is gone, but the plant still contains the disease resistance gene. For crop plants, this process is a little bit more complex, but the principle is exactly the same. The microbes are used to cut and paste genes into crop plants, just like what occurs in nature. Actually, the first genetically modified food was made in nature. Scientists recently discovered that DNA from the same microbe has actually been passed down through 9,000 years of cultivated sweet potato breeding. So that means that ever since sweet potatoes have been eaten by people, microbial DNA has been a part of those meals. It also means that all sweet potatoes, even the certified organic ones, are actually naturally occurring GMOs.